The following screencast is going to delve into the basics of the interface of Final Cut Pro 6, which will lay a framework or a foundation for building upon the skills that I intend to publish on various other elements and techniques of using the Final Cut Studio series. So in this introductory video, basically what I want to do is take a look at each of the windows and briefly explain what they do. So what I'm going to do at this point is remove myself from the proceedings so you can focus mainly on what I'm going to be showing you and we can zoom in for a closer look at things. So here we go. Within Final Cut there are four main windows. What we want to do at this point is just go through them and I'll explain what they're named and then what their function is. This big one we see running along the bottom is the timeline. Up here we have the canvas. To the left of that is the viewer. And then to the left of that is the browser. The canvas is our program window where the output of the project we're working on in the timeline is actually displayed. So by pressing play here, what we're in essence doing is playing the contents of our timeline. The viewer to the left is a preview window where we look at clips to see which are usable and make adjustments to both video and any effects that we apply to said clips. You can think of the browser window to the far left as a sort of database where all of our clips and sequences are going to live. A clip could range anything from video to audio to any titles we may generate in say live type or motion and import into Final Cut Studio. Just by clicking these arrows you can see that I've got it arranged into folders and each of the folders has a series of clips within it. Same goes with audio and these up here are sequences. If we drop down to the bottom here back to the timeline this is the architectural plane for holding each of our sequences. A timeline holds sequences which hold our clips, both audio and video. You see the video clips are in blue, the audio clips are in green. The canvas located right here and the timeline are connected. Anything we do in either one of these is reflected on the other. So pressing play here you'll see the, the scrubber right here as it moves along this window, it'll be moving along down here on the timeline as well. So let's take a look. We're viewing in real time the contents of our timeline being displayed on our canvas. If we were to fast forward or rewind, notice that it's also doing the same thing within the timeline. Now with this basic overview of Final Cut, the windows, we can build upon and start to learn some of the more in-depth terminology of the program. 